If you look at G2 today in the visitor management category, there are 280 solutions. Now, a lot of those aren't really software companies that fully focus on visitor management, so the actual number is lower. But nonetheless, there are tons of options when it comes to visitor management systems. So how on earth are you supposed to make the right choice? Well, I'm hoping this video will help with that. I'm going to cover which problems visitor management solutions solve, how the offering of different companies differ, which features you absolutely need, and as well as a pricing comparison for some of the leading software on the market. Visitor management systems ultimately solve three core problems. The first one is security and compliance. Companies need to know who's on site at any given moment, both because of potential emergency situations, but also for data protection purposes. You need to know who is at your office in which part of the office as well. Compliance is another aspect. So you might have certifications like ISO that require you to have a visitor management system in place. Public companies, again, they have a specific requirement when it comes to protecting data. The second one is operational efficiency. So manually registering visitors at your front desk is somewhat unsustainable depending on your setup. It might work for small offices with very little traffic, but the level of accuracy and automation offered by dedicated software solution is a completely different story. So any kind of mid-size or fast-growing companies at some point starts to outgrow manual processes and requires a dedicated solution for that. And the third is user experience. And when I say user experience, I'm referring both to the visitor and to people within your organizations that are receiving those visitors. So if, for example, a job candidate shows up a great first impression and a smooth process to access the building is very important, but it's also important that the person receiving them is being a, is, is able to do that with ease without having to wait in the lobby or show up late or have to receive an email. Hey, the guest is here, the candidate is here. So user experience from both sides of the equation. Now, a lot of solutions offer all of the core features that you need. So badge issuing, check-in and check-out tracking, visitor logs and analytics, customizable sign-in forms, host notifications. These are all things that more or less the vast majority of the solutions out there will be able to offer. So the baseline is somewhat undifferentiated. The way you can understand which solution is best tailored to your needs is to look at three factors. The number one is the ease of use. How easy is the platform to use both from an admin side and for the visitors? So you need to look a little bit more granularly at the processes to check in visitors. So that can happen, for instance, with an iPad at your reception, with a kiosk uh, placed uh, elsewhere in the lobby uh, via an app. So pre-registrations where the visitor shows up to your place pre-registered. So looking at those flows more granularly and also understanding what the UI looks like is actually crucial because everything looks great on paper up until you realize, hey, actually this, this process is, is not really ideal, although it seemed like this vendor had all of the features that we need. The second one is when it comes to advanced features and integrations. So while this is a product that can work as a standalone, it is very likely that you're going to need to integrate it with uh, other solutions that you're using. That could be access control because visitors need to unlock doors and access parts of your building. It could be Wi-Fi or printers or communication tools like Slack to send notifications when a visitor arrives and things like that. So understanding if these integrations will fit your current uh, setup is super important. And then there are also like some more specific advanced features that might be required depending on your use case. Another example of usability would be advanced features like floor plans. So where you can actually visualize your office and being able to understand which 
parts of the office visitors have access to or if you're combining visitor management with uh, other products like meeting room or desk booking being able to have those visualizations within the software the third is about pricing this is where there can be a very big difference at parity of feature at parity of offering across different vendors so pricing as obvious as it may sound it's actually a very important factor when it comes to advanced features or integrations something that you will come across relatively often is that certain providers gate those or limit those to their highest plans so you might have two vendors that have a similar offering but in one case it's included in your, in in a standard plan and in another case it requires custom pricing like this, this example right here as an example iLobby has a plan that starts at $1.99 a month that does not include features that you could consider as kind of a must-have things like touchless sign-in pre-registrations or badge printing and their enhanced plan still does not include specific add-ons that you need to pay for extra like uh, teams or slack integration so features are sometimes gated in terms of like pushing users to a higher plan and sometimes they're offered as specific add-ons so when you compare pricing it can get a little tricky to look at the final actual monthly cost at least in some of the cases like this one and another thing that i want to mention that is very important is that there are some solutions out there that offer their visitor management as a standalone module that's i would say the standard scenario but there are also some very popular vendors that only offer it as an add-on to their desk or meeting room booking solution so robin or scadda which are quite popular visitor management systems actually only offer that in combination with other products so you cannot just buy the visitor management module you actually need to run your broader hybrid workplace setup through those solutions and then the license for the visitor management module comes on top but you cannot buy as a standalone most companies offer pricing per location so different tiers based on features included and then a license for each location there are some exceptions like honeywell they combine their feature based pricing with a, a limit to the number of monthly check-ins i don't particularly like this model because the way visitor systems are used can vary a lot depending on the organization so just think of a company using the system for all of their contractors having a lot of contractors coming in every day this limit in terms of check-ins doesn't really make sense when you compare it to a scenario where only really temporary visitors like job applicants or I don't know partners or clients are coming to the office so the numbers would be uh, absolutely disproportionate in terms of pricing again the most important thing is to not look at the starting price but really at what you end up with with the features that you need so there are companies like iLobby starting at 199 Adam starts at 179 per location per month invoice a bit more expensive so it's about 329 a month Per location Archie's 159 a month per location so I would say there are some solutions that are significantly more expensive however when you look at the starting price it might look like there isn't as big a difference but when you compare at parity of features and parity of integrations that's where the story changes so it can be a good idea to really put a lot of focus on usability try to understand what the workflows would look like what the app look, looks like for both visitors and for admins and yeah really base the choice on what seems to fit your workflows from an operational perspective because as i said all of the basic feature everybody is offering a lot of the advanced feature everybody is offering too although the usability might differ from one solution to the other so the key is really to look at pricing look at the user experience both admin and end user and to understand if it fits your use case if there are integration in place with software or hardware that you use today 
and all of those things. I'm hoping you found this video useful. We keep on creating content to help companies run better offices, smarter offices. Your feedback is appreciated and I'm hoping to see you in the next one. Take care.